one of my pet peeves is this idea that people on the autism spectrum don't have empathy. Because I think they do just as much or as little as anyone else does, but they often express it differently. The idea that people on spectrum don't have empathy, but those of us who are neurotypical with our vaunted empathy, I'm not seeing a whole lot of it being extended towards people on spectrum. It's impacted me. I'm not certain about my family, but I think my mom knows more about that. That separated a lot from the family. And my family in the beginning, I separated a lot from them because sometimes I feel shy. I wish that we lived in a more welcoming <sighs> world where people didn't, you know, make assumptions about him and, you know, just gave him a chance. Other myths about autism include that people on the autism spectrum aren't interested in social relationships. Oftentimes they are, depends on the person, but they oftentimes have difficulty in making those social connections. Life's hard for me, so making friends is hard for me too, like trying to find the good, the right friends. Another myth about people on spectrum is that they are violent. There's far more research to show that people on the autism spectrum are much more likely to be victims of violent crime than to be perpetrators. And they are innately subject to bullying and exploitation. He is a big no bullying advocate um, and he just, he really promotes kindness wherever he goes. He wants to help. And he says, if everyone, if, if everyone would be just like me, it would be wonderful. Another final myth of people on autism spectrum is that they are suffering or unhappy. There's a great meme going around that says, I don't suffer from autism, I suffer from other people. I would say personally that people I have met on the autism spectrum, they are not unhappy. When I see people make these jokes and use the word autistic as, um, as an insult or something. Um, I feel really sad and I feel bad. <laughs> yeah, bad. But I don't feel bad for myself. I feel bad for the people who say those things. And I feel bad that they don't actually know what the word autism means. It meant being different. Uh, it meant it meant have, it meant a lot of difficulties. Don't underestimate the difficulties. And of course, it meant some very nice things. I think that I I I, I mean I would be I might be someone that I wouldn't like very much if I weren't autistic, because it did lead to me growing a certain personal value system. It led to me being alone and doing a lot of thinking, which meant I probably had more philosophical thoughts than most young people, just because I was sitting there thinking about stuff all the time. Sitting on the bus, thinking about stuff, not talking to anyone, just staring out the window, thinking about stuff. Uh, so it, def it definitely shaped me into probably a more interesting person, for better or for worse, than I would be otherwise. Autism to me, it means understanding and and I see it as not a not disability, but a mindset. Um, and me being autistic myself, I I have learned that you know in some cases it's harder, in some cases it's not. Autism is awesome. <laughs>